letting my car warm up and letting the uh, traffic die down because once again it is hideous and yeah hi um, everybody who recently <laughs> subscribed to me thanks for Project for Awesome um, thank you for subscribing um, you've caught me in the middle of what I'm calling daily December and I'm posting a vlog every single day about whatever happens to catch my fancy and usually it's absolutely nothing except me just talking about my day. Um, well, yeah, today was long. Work's long. It's almost Christmas. And I work in a place where we're pretty dependent on Christmas. That's, yeah. Um, so can we talk a little bit about last night's mid-season finale of How I Met Your Mother and how, like, I was weeping with joy. And I know, I know it was coming because... Duh, if you've seen the show, then you know from last season's finale and then how this season opened, um, it was coming, but, uh, I was kind of not expecting it at the same time. Like, I, I, it had to happen, obviously, but I wasn't really expecting it to happen now. So, that just made me absolutely just filled with happiness and joy, and it was so just... It was so good, and there's so many angry people who are like, remember when Robin had, like, a spine and did her own stuff? And I was like, do you remember, like, all the shit that happened to Robin the last three seasons? I think, I think she gets a pass about, you know, maybe she's insecure and doesn't really feel like herself anymore because she's had some rough, she's had a rough eight years since, you know, she met Ted, so <laughs> I think I think she gets a bye on this one. Um, it drives me crazy when people complain about how characters change without really remembering what exactly the character went through to get to that change, and that's kind of the point of a show, is to make the characters grow and be different than how they started off with. That's art reflects life or something like that because you aren't the same person you were three years ago were you um if you are i'm sorry that you live in a state of stasis uh, because that's not a good thing at all um so yeah but you know happy feelings and just oh yesterday was just really good um emotionally for me um which is really good. I was kind of in a bad place for a couple of days, but then just happy things happened. Um, talked to some friends I haven't talked to in a while, and um, made a couple of plans, and then Project for Awesome is always good. Um, that always serves to cheer me up. Usually if I get a little down this time of year, then Project for Awesome happens, and I perk right back up because it reminds me that um, people aren't terrible. Um, as much as Everybody would like you to believe that they're all horrible, horrible people. No, everybody's everybody's pretty good. Um, there's a couple of bad apples, but that happens. And we just gotta, you know, keep up and stuff. I don't know. I'm rambling now. Um, I don't really have much. You like how everything kind of clashes? My dark green sweater and my purple jacket and my bright pink necklace. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just a color-coded clash today. I can't think of anything else. My car is, no, the engine's still cold, probably because I haven't moved it yet, but the parking lot seems to be emptying out, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I do have a good video for you on Friday. It's already, it's already ready to go. It's all, I'm so happy that I finally have the ability to schedule, um, vlogs now so I can kind of maybe put some stuff up and then not worry about it for a little while um so that's up it's ready to go so it's good good things are happening and that's always good 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 um okay i am going to go and i will upload this when i get home and um i'll see you guys tomorrow okay bye